Hey guys, today we're looking at this Synology RS815. We're just using it as kind of like a dev dev machine uh, to kind of just do some testing with it. Um, and you can see we have three hard drives in here and there's uh, three WD Red uh, two terabyte drives at about 3.8 terabytes once it's in a RAID um, Synology RAID. So we're going to expand it one more bay here and uh, expand to almost five terabytes by adding this two terabyte drive in. Um, so you can see we already have our bay out. We have the hard drive here. Um, now I know it's a WD green, so I don't recommend doing green drives and NASs, of course. Uh, but like I said, this is just a, a dev server. It's just for testing. It's not really gonna be for production use. Uh, so I just wanna make sure that, that I get that out there right away because I know a lot of people are gonna rag on me for that. Uh, using a green drive and a NAS, but like I said, this is just a dev, dev NAS, nothing production, no backups, nothing to it. Um, so once you have in that mount, you just simply, with the unit still on, um, go ahead and slide that drive in. You can do it with it turned off or on, um, which is easier once it's already on. You can see it's detecting that fourth drive. It's spinning that drive up right now, and now we can go to our console and now I'm going to show you how you can expand your array um, from three drives in the Synology RAID to a fourth drive and, array, and basically expand your array and expand your storage. So even if you already have an array set up and all your, your apps installed and everything, you're not going to lose anything. You're just going to expand your array. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to just pop in another drive, expand your array, and then move on. There's nothing else. I mean, it's so easy. You don't lose any data. Um, so yeah, let's go dive right in. All right, you guys. Now we are at our computer. We have the Synology Assistant open. We've searched for that NAS, and you can see it's ready. It's got the DHCP. So we're going to go ahead and go to that IP address, and you can see where we already logged in. Then you're going to go to the Start. Go to Storage Manager. Then you're going to go to Storage Pool. <clears throat> If you want to, you can actually go to the hard drive section just to make sure it's popping up in there. Cause you, you do, and you can see I got the two terabyte and I have all two terabyte drives in there. Just to make sure it is healthy and things are working fine. Now you can go to your storage pool since you know the uh, device is picking up that second hard drive. And you can see uh, we have the three other drives and we're in the SH, SHR RAID format. So now we can go to action then you're going to select the option that says add drive. So you can see it automatically shows that fourth uh, drive and it's that two terabyte. Um, so we can go ahead and it's already selected so we hit next. Hit OK. This is going to erase all the data on that drive. You can now see it's going to give you the total capacity. It's going from that 3.4 terabytes to now 5.4. So a lot more storage. Um, so go ahead and hit apply. Now this can take Depending on the drive size, like if you're doing a four terabyte, eight terabyte, you know, whatever, um, it could take a couple hours, could take a couple days. So it just really depends on how much um, big of a drive you're putting in there. So you just gotta wait for this to be expanding. And like I said, that's gonna take a little bit. Um, but that's how easy it is to just expand your storage. If you have a free um, bay in your NAS unit, um, the only other way to do something like this is to get bigger drives, unfortunately. Um, but at least if you have a spare uh, bay, you can at least put up in another drive, and that's how easy it is to expand your array. And I definitely would not be doing anything while this is running, because this is going to be very uh, resource intensive while it's running. Uh, F FYI on that. So if we go back to volume, <clears throat> you can see it's expanding there. And this is all graded out now because it's doing that expanding now. And got the four drives there. And everything self healthy. So, yeah, like I said, you just got to be patient. You don't need to be logged in while this is running. Uh, it's basically running a background task. Um, it'll get done when it gets done, and you don't have to be logged in. So that's good. So you can just close out and log off. And that's how easy it is to expand your array.